everyone, I am Dr. Kavita Verma, Consultant Laparoscopic and General Surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Baner, Pune. Today we will be talking about proctology, one of the very common problems faced by the general public. There is a lot of misconception when it comes to the term piles. This is very vaguely used to describe all the symptoms pertaining to the perianal region, which is actually not true. When patients come to us saying they have piles, they are talking about a symptom. Whereas piles is a diagnosis which can only be done by what we call as a proctoscopic examination. So it is not possible that the patients do a self-proctoscopic examination and come to a diagnosis. So what are the common perianal problems and how do we go about diagnosing them? The three commonest problems that patients face will be one, an anal fissure, second is internal hemorrhoids or piles and third is an anal fistula. So we'll take each one separately. Anal fissure is a small cut or a linear ulcer which is there at the junction of the anal canal and the skin. Now this is caused by hard stools or constipation. As the stool comes out of the anal canal, it grazes and causes a cut. And this is called a fissure because of which the anal muscles which are around the anal canal, they go into a state of spasm or tightness. So the symptom here that the patient faces will be a severe pain while passing motion associated with a little bit of streaking of stool by blood because the stool here is coming out against a force of the spasm of the anal muscle. So pain with bleeding is usually an anal fissure. Whereas internal piles or hemorrhoids, these are plexus or veins inside the anal canal. All of us have normal veins inside the anal canal. When they swell up, we call it internal piles. So depending upon the extent of swelling, this is graded into grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 and grade 4 piles. The symptoms in this is painless bleeding. There is no pain in piles. It is painless bleeding associated with either you know, a feeling of something coming out during passing motion which either spontaneously regresses or has to be pushed inside. So this is a in hemorrhoids. Next is anal fistula. Fistula is because of an occurrence of infection inside the anal canal. The glands get infected and subsequently it finds a path outside which is called the tract and there is an external opening. So anal fistula, the symptom is recurrent episodes of pain, swelling and discharge. Usually here there is not much of bleeding, it is more of pain and discharge. Now the treatment of each is different. Anal fissures can be managed medically. In worst scenario, it is surgery which is sphincterotomy. Internal piles, again, depending upon the grade, the treatment would be either a laser surgery or a stapler surgery. And for anal fistula, again, it is a surgery which could either be a laser surgery, open surgery, an endoscopic surgery. So the treatment of each is different. If you're suffering from any problem related to the perianal region, kindly consult your surgeon who will examine you, come to a diagnosis and then suggest the appropriate treatment. Thank you.